Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. This game is one of the best ones that we had all night and you'll see it unfold and hopefully you'll understand why I thought this was one of the best ones as Wrongway himself did. Hopefully you'll enjoy this video too. If you do, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed because I do good stuff that's interesting. I don't like to waste people's time with boring stuff that's just, oh look, here we won a game. Big deal. Something good has to happen. I don't just post random games because that's not really special. Everything I do here is special and worthy of your interest, I hope. So, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's take a look at the action. Welcome to Thiepval Ridge. This game is the longest of the games we played last night, but man, was it awesome. Wrong Way is running a TVP 88 check medium. And I am running the T44A, which is also not quite fully upgraded. It's pretty close, but there's a tour. There's a couple of upgrades left. There's a radio, a gun upgrade, and I think there's a suspension upgrade. I mean, it's it's good enough. This is the one of the free tanks that you could get, you know, at the beginning of Cold War. So it's not exactly what you'd call an awesome tank, but that's what makes this game awesome is that we're both using. He's using the free Czechoslovakian tank. And mine is the Free uh, Eastern Alliance. So, what we do here is magnified in excellence because we're using bottom of the barrel bomb tanks. You know, he's down there about 10th, and I'm about 8th. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm an 8th at from the start, 10, he's 11. So we're both down the totem pole, let's just put it that way. This is a game at this point right now about shots of opportunity. We're doing the things that we know that will be successful in general, but as well, basically let's just say we're, we're bench players, we're not the top star tanks in this team so we can't go out and try and be superstars we got that dude contributed to the you know killing of that guy who attacked our base like a maniac so basically you know this is the classic case of know your role know your limitations and don't try to exceed them because you're gonna ask for trouble It was a very wacky game. One of the things that happens on this side of the map, you got to be careful. Guys can come into the middle, which you'll see like right here. They'll get in this area over here, and they'll be able to shoot you at the blue base, and you can't see them. Same thing for the guys showing up with that guy showing up right now. This dude, that little genius. Which guy is this anyway? Oops. And more shots of opportunity. This guy, I know... It's not a threat to me. He's an E3. That's a guy I can't... I guess I just can't hit him. So you got to play within the limitations of your bottom of the barrel tank. Because that's what we have. Bottom of the barrel tanks. But we're doing contract stuff. Well, you know, we had a bunch of great games... You know, let's just do something different. See if, you know, we can do whatever. And we contributed to the win of this game, which was really awesome. Because we, we got bummy tanks, man. Two guys out here on the north side of that little hill. So I'm safely going to move up and try to assist if they try to push through that road right here. This is going to be killer. 
Oh, look, there's a genius coming. All right, now, wrong way is behind me. He saw this guy coming, and I wanted that guy to know that I was here because I have low health. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have low health. I'm just an inferior tank. But the, he's better than me. He's a better tank than me. He thinks he's going to kill me. And wrong way was like, keep bringing him back. Keep going backwards. Keep bringing him back. Bam! Wrong way drilled him. I killed him. Dude, we laughed. It was hilarious. Because wrong way was back there. He's like, keep bringing him back. Keep bringing him back. And that guy just kept coming forward like, dude, I got a surprise for you. <laughs> the surprise is wrong way behind me with a Czechoslovakian medium. He hammered him and I killed him. But he was back there directing traffic. And he was telling me whenever guys would show up here, which was very helpful. Like that guy, he, he talking about that guy, I'm like, oh, crud. But he's like, yeah, no big deal. He's a one-shot kill. Now that guy shot at me. I had to dive off this hill so I don't get hammered. And then wrong way killed another guy. <clears throat> so we're, we're, you know, we're still losing. I have killed one guy. He's killed one guy. So we're good. But we're losing. But we're hanging in here. And he kept taking random fire from some guy in the middle. He kept moving to, you know, get that guy off of him. I drilled that dude. But now, I'm down to a little more than 10% of my life. This is what happens when you're in the bottom of the barrel. Vehicle. And it's the same thing the whole game. Just stay within your realm of abilities of the tank that you have. You can make shots. That was a good shot right there. Great kill. We're down only by one guy. So we're doing good. Another kill for us, even. Awesome. Now as the numbers are dwindling, you know, you're gonna have to do more. I gotta do, try and do some spotting. That guy, there's the, the I was looking to the left and then wrong way spotted this guy up here. This guy has walked into a double attack by both of us. Drilled him. I don't have to kill him, I just gotta do the best I can. I made him run away. He's dead, Jim. We don't, no one got credit for that kill, but me and this big-headed guy, Sniper, I call those the, the square-headed freak. These are square-headed freaks. And wrong way, the three of us, it's like that guy caught wind of the three of us. He's like, get the heck out of there. Boom, he's dead. Killed himself accidentally. We'll take it. Five to two now. This is just us hanging in there just being super solid you know we are a we can assist guys but we're not you know we're not superstar tanks at all I don't really care for this tank that much I mean it's okay it's a contract thing if it wasn't for a contract I would never run this I look at that I go you gotta be out of your mind I would have been running something different like a T95E2. 
Really, if I want to play to win, I would have been in the light tank. Scorpion. I would have been in a scorpion or a scimitar. Those are difference maker tanks. And in the hand of a strong light tank player, they're real difference makers. This is not a difference maker tank by any stretch of the imagination. This is just one step in the chain. I mean, you never know. Sometimes you have a good game in, a, in an average tank like this. And I've had a good game. I mean, we got this guy. But he is making a comeback. Yeah, you're in trouble now, Sonny. If I had a better tank than this one, I'd have killed this guy. I got a shot right there. I don't have reload. There's another to the left. Drilled him again, but it won't kill him because my gun's too weak. He's too strong, Conway. Kill her. Our stronger guys made the kills. Which was fantastic. But, in my bottom of the barrel special, T-44, somehow I, I clawed my way up to third place. Just trying to help the team, man. That's all I'm trying to do. That was a great game, and Reno Long Way helped me a lot back there when he was behind me, you know, as the director of traffic, which is very important. So that was a really, really good game for us because both of us were way low on health, and we just hung in there and scratched and clawed our way from behind, as you saw, to even and then to a massive lead, which was just awesome. First class performance in that tank is hard to do. But wrong way himself right there, another long haul performance in a, both of us were in bottom of the barrel free tanks. And we finished the top, you know, top of the charts. He was number six, I was number three. That's, that's just good players making the best of the situation. And like I said, he really did a great job of directing me when guys were places where I couldn't see them. So that was, you know, a classic team victory. So I hope you enjoyed that match, which gives you a good example of even though we were in literal bottom of the barrel tanks. Let me show you those on the map. All right, this is the T-44A. This is tank is literally zero. You can get this for free if you don't, you know, if you've never gotten it before, it's, it's a free tank. And I'll show you wrong ways tank. This is wrong ways tank, the TVP-88. I had this tank and did the challenge in it and I hated it. I hated this tank. You know, the gun is strong, but the arm, the armor is cardboard, really. The gun, there's a gun upgrade and it, it's, it's better. So, you know, there was a, an operation I played, got some free premium time out of it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm never playing this piece of trash again. So I don't like this tank at all. It's too hard to score. It's just, it's a pain. It's weak as all get out. I had to play this as a sniper, which is what he was doing, um, because it just doesn't have armor worth a crud. So it just magnifies what we did. He was in this garbage free tank from Czechoslovakia, and I was up here with a garbage free tank from probably China. I don't know who made, you know, where the T 44 originates. But we took two bum tanks from the bottom of the barrel and finished uh, third place and sixth place. That was awesome. So just gives you an idea that we actually know something. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed this match. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed because we do things and show you stuff that you may not have seen before. Something special. Like that game was a special game. So... If you could spread the word to your friends, that would be helpful. 
I'm, I've got one more awesome game to show you in this series, Wrong Way and Me. You've got to watch that video. It's upcoming. And I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks again for watching.